Okay, folks, it seems like the theme has been like chicken, right? So that's why you're here, right? Listen, we finna do a Tuscan chicken mac and cheese, right? This is really easy. It's gonna be done in this uh, pot right here. You know what I mean? So I wanna almost call it a one pot meal. It's kind of like gonna be that way. Let's check it out. Okay, so look, first thing we're gonna do is we wanna get our uh, seasoning for our chicken, right? And while you guys looking at all of these ingredients that I have right here, don't forget the full ingredient list. That is print printable, right? It's on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, let me make this room. I'm gonna go ahead and put in about a full teaspoon even if it's heaping, that's okay. That's a half, and that's a half, right? So then, then we'll do the same with the parsley. Okay, so it's really like salt to taste, but I can tell you if you just give it a couple of generous pinches, because we got two big, you know, uh, chicken breasts, right? And then for the pepper, we just finna grind. Uh, you want to? I'd say you want to at least put about a teaspoon of this in there too. I'm gonna grind me up some. So now I use my whisk. Some of you guys gonna use that fork. We gonna, if you want to keep it authentic, do it like grandma used to do it. Go ahead and use that fork. Get myself some saran wrap. You know, cover this like that, right? And then you want to get yourself a tenderizer. So, all right, now that we have this flattened, all of it is about even, we about one inch all the way throughout. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up my burner. I just want to put it on like a medium heat. Put this over the top. Now you guys know I cook with extra virgin olive oil. This happens to be branch and vine. You know, uh, this right here is infused olive oil. You know what I mean? So I always do garlic infused because I'm always cooking with it. All right, so I just put a little bit in there, just like that. Now, while that's starting to heat up, let's come on back to this right here. Now, remember we made our little rub, right? This is our seasoning. Now you just want to go ahead and put some of this, you know, on each side. I didn't need to coat it or nothing like that. I don't need to, all right? I just want to get it just the way you see. I can tell the way it's moving around, you know what I mean, just how, how it looks. You can see those little ripples in there, you know what I mean, that tells me it's ready. It kind of like pulls back. All right, so now I got some good heat. Now I'll just go ahead and put these in, just like this. All right, so let me turn my fire off. You see that right there? That's what we're looking for. It's the color. And then right now, we're probably real close. You know what I mean? Because I did check it. Now, I let my pan come down on, you know, in the temperature, right? So then what I did was I actually turned it off. I turned it back on right now, you know, to get it right. Because what I want to do is I want to melt my butter, right? You see all that in there? All that's gonna come into play because that's gonna be our flavor, folks. All right, once that's finished, I'm gonna add my garlic, excuse me, my onions, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and mince, right? If you guys don't have yourself one of these press, I mean, you can still do it the regular way, you know, like mince them down. You know what I mean? That's totally up to you. But since I don't, I might as well say I discovered this right here, I wanna know what was taken, why my grandmama didn't have me you know, using one of these. I guess you were trying to let me get my skills up, right? So you see all of that right there? I like to take something with a hard edge on it. You know what I mean? And I just do this. Now notice I'm putting it right here on the top. Now we're getting ready to take that white wine, right? Now we add that. Woo. Now we cooking, folks. We got sun-dried tomatoes, right? I have a strainer here. I'm doing it like this so we can just get some of that oil off of it. Right? Now we're gonna work this in here with this. When you follow me, you know what I mean? Uh, if you went to my website, you got a printable recipe or if you, you copied it, did some screenshots or whatever, you put it on your phone, right? As you're reading, look, I pull what I need next and I have everything organized, right? Cause this isn't in the order that I'm gonna need it, right? So we got flour. I'm getting ready to add the flour to the top of this, right? So now that I had the flour in here, we're gonna go ahead and just get this to blend in. It's gonna absorb anything else that's in the inside, but we wanna cook that flour taste out, right? This is gonna be like the thickening agent, you know, for the end result. After about a minute or so, right, we cooked that flour taste out of there. Now I'm getting ready to come with my stock or broth.
Now you see it kind of like cool the pan immediately. I mean, it, I don't do that, you know, by raising up the uh, temperature. What I do is I let it come back up naturally. Once I see it starts to uh, boil again, then I add my half and half. It came back up on its own organically, right? Without me raising my temperature. And you can see it's starting to get a little thick, look. Right? So now we bring our half and half. Now this is three cups. I'm gonna add in a little bit, but I'm gonna save myself and reserve about a half a cup back, right? And now we're gonna put in about a tablespoon of this Italian seasoning. So I'm just gonna mix this, let this heat, you saw it started to, you know, come back to a boil, right? We're gonna set it down to a simmer in just a minute. But right now we wanna go ahead and get everything mixed together. You can see the herbs and everything. Now you just wanna add your macaroni. All right, we're gonna let this come back up to the boil and we're gonna let this go for about nine to 10 minutes, right? All right, so if you pay attention now, look at this right here. Look at how creamy that is. You can see the sun dry, oh my goodness. And you can feel the texture on your, whew. Look, this is right, right here. You don't want them to be too soft, you know why? Because we finna do a little bit more to it, but you see how it cuts? That's what you want, right? So now I'll stick that there. Now I'm getting ready to add my spinach, right? So we just start adding this in here, right? We just work this in there. Now for those of you guys that say, hey, I don't really do spinach, I guess you could leave this part out, but you gotta, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, you gotta try it, you know what I mean? If you never have, uh, and it's like leveling up our game. You know, not making the same old, same old all the time, right? We're just gonna let the heat work with it. All right, so look, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tip, right? You can use your chicken stock or chicken broth and add that to it just a little bit, you know what I mean, to help get your spinach where it needs to be, right? These are just like little tips. You make those calls when you do it. You don't wanna overdo it, right? Because we gotta add cheese to it. We still got about a half a cup of milk, you know, a half and half left. All this come into play and we still continue to cook, right? So just trust me, 10 minutes on the noodles, we still got it on the fire, and then we just finishing it up, right? But if you look at that right there, if that ain't nothing amazing to you, I don't know what is. Once everything came back to a boil, you know, you can see that. I can see that my spinach is nice and soft, and, you know, wilted down, that's, look at that. All right, now I'm gonna remove it from the fire, meaning I'm turning off my fire right now, right? Now. When you get some good pots, you can pick them up. This has been cooking this whole time. I'm still able to touch this. Gotta love it. Now, I'm getting ready to add my mozzarella to it. Right? So we wanna add a little bit of this in here. Remember, we don't have no fire. Obviously, it's on my cutting board, right? And this is how we get it nice and creamy. And then we add our parm. Now, you guys should appreciate all of the cheeses, you know what I mean? Three different cheeses, look at that. Still just working off the residual heat that's in, in the pan, right? Well, we did say mac and cheese though, right? And then remember we say reserved about a half a cup of our half and half. Now we just add that, just a little bit at a time, right? Now we just work this in. And you guys tell me, who wants a bowl of this? Okay, so now I bring my chicken back, right? We bring it here, and I'm gonna just go ahead and cut these down into like little strips like this. And then we just lay it right there, just like you see. Now let me go ahead and arrange this because I got to turn this into a star. I got to get you guys to click on this video. Okay, folks, so look, it's now the moment of truth, right? Just to get the whole combination in here, right? So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and, you know, cut me a piece here, get a little bit of this macaroni. Mm. I don't know about y'all, but you should be, your mouth should be watering. 
This right here is what you want to have on there. You see that steam coming up off of that? This right here is nice and hot, folks, and it's ready to go. Cheers. This right here is fire. You know what? This is a great alternative. I don't even want to say that. If you ask me, this rivals the regular mac and cheese. Now, I made them several different ways. We done did Southern, Creole, Cajun, you name it. This right here is a player, too. So you got to bring this in there. And when I tell you this right here is right, this right here is right. So listen, we just want to level up, you know, our game, you know, start cooking with the dill, you know, a little bit of uh, different ingredients, you know what I mean? Like that sun-dried tomato, I'm infatuated with it right now. I just want to let y'all know. So now, talk to me down in the comment section below. Would you just have this as a meal by itself or what veggie would you, you know, bring this to the table to support it? Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what? It's very few times I don't need no Kool-Aid. Guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.